Hey, if you're here, don't forget to subscribe to the Curiosity Wiki YouTube channel. Activate the bell to be the first to see the new videos. Don't forget to give yourself a point for every correct answer. Who is David's best friend? David was at work when he found out he won the lottery and told the accountant he wanted to give half the money to his best friend Dan. But everyone started calling himself Dan in order to cheat the accountant. Can you figure out who David's real best friend is? You have seven seconds. Is the one who wears a bracelet that matches David's. A mysterious disappearance. Mary and David have a young son named Luca. On Saturday they went out to dinner and left Luca at home. When they returned, the little boy was gone, and the alarmed parents called the police. The detective questioned everyone in the house. The nanny said she had packed Luca's backpack for the next day, the maid said she had spent the day cleaning the bathroom, and the cook said he had made breakfast for the next day and hadn't heard anything. The police immediately realized who was lying. Can you tell? It was the nanny. It's Saturday, and the kids don't go to school. Who did it? A billionaire was found unconscious by his wife. This happened Sunday at 6, 30 a.m. in the morning. As soon as the woman saw him, she called the police. The detective questioned everyone in the house. The billionaire's wife said she had gone out to buy her husband a present for their anniversary. The butler said he had fixed some tires on the car. The gardener said he hadn't spoken to the billionaire because he had been working outside and hadn't been in the house. As soon as the police listened the story, everyone knew who did it. You have seven seconds to find out the truth. It was the wife, no gift shop is open at 6. 30 a.m. in the morning on Sunday. Who's the poor guy? A restaurant owner found out he won the lottery and will donate half of the money to the poorest person in the restaurant. Can you figure out who it is? It's the guy in the shirt. He only has a few coins to pay for the meal and he only ordered fries. Everyone else has several dishes in front of them. What happened at the North Pole? Sam was trying to impress his new colleagues with interesting stories. During lunch he told them about the time he went on an expedition to the North Pole. While he was there he injured his leg and couldn't walk. His friends had to carry him to their shelter and call for help. When they returned, penguins started chasing them. As soon as his colleagues heard this, they started laughing. Why? Well, there are no penguins at the North Pole. Who's cheating? It's Friday, and all the students have gathered in order to write their end-of-year exam. The teacher has been informed that one of the students will cheat, but which one? You have seven seconds to find out the answer. It is student C, he seems to be trying to remember what he has read, but he has the answers written on his hand. The prize from the competition. John competed in a quiz game and got stuck on the last question. He called his friend to ask for help. If he answers the last question correctly, he will win the grand prize. The question sounds like this. If you jump with a parachute, where should you land? An ocean, a jungle, or a desert? The answer is in the desert. If you land on water you might get stuck in your parachute and drown. In a jungle you might get stuck in tree branches, but the sand in the desert is soft and you can cover yourself with your parachute to protect yourself from the heat. Miss Christine was heading home after finishing her shopping for hot dogs and burgers. Suddenly she saw someone running towards her and stole her bag. The woman immediately called the police and told them what had happened. She added that it was a man wearing sunglasses and a black hoodie. The police officer started searching in the park and eventually he found the thief. Can you figure out which one of these people it was?
is the one with the dog, the animal can smell the food the human has and is waiting for a treat. What happened to the chef? A prestigious chef at a restaurant called the police to report that someone hit him on the head in the warehouse. Detectives narrowed it down to three suspects. Another chef. I don't know what happened to the chef, but I didn't think to check the warehouse. The waiter. I was too busy with customers and didn't even look for him. Cleaning man. I organized the cellar because it was dirty. When the detectives heard that, they knew immediately who did it. Can you figure it out? Was the other chef. Nobody told him the chef was in the warehouse. Which island is safe? Andrew went on a boat trip to explore the marine life. While sailing he saw that a storm was approaching, the man had to get out of the water. Immediately there were three islands in front of him, but only one was safe, which one should he choose? The first island was full of poisonous spiders, the second was full of sharks and the third was deserted and covered with bones. You have a few seconds. The second island, sharks can't survive without water and Andrew will be fine there. How did she do it? Emily was on the east side of the river and Anna was on the west side. Anna told Emily to come and meet her and Emily went to her. There was no bridge, but she crossed the river. How did she do it? The river was frozen. Someone cut the power to the whole city, and then this person snuck into the airport to take some important documents. But this mysterious stranger has fallen into a trap and now has to escape as soon as possible. In the east the airport is protected by an electric fence, in the west it is guarded by large trained dogs, soldiers secure the south, and in the north there is a huge mountain blocking the road. Which way is this person supposed to run? On the east side, the electricity is off and so is the electric fence. If you answered between 8 and 12 riddles correctly, then congratulations. If not, we invite you to stay tuned for more practice in the next videos.